have just received a parcel of these silent low power fry crypto miners that are helping me earn over $37 a month in the native fry token. First of all, we've got the fry bandwidth miner. These two miners are bringing in around $20 a month. That's 215 fry tokens each. Then we've got the indoor decibel miner. That's $10 a month, around 215 fry tokens each. And lastly, we have the indoor satellite miner, around 159 tokens, that's $7.43 a month. And if you want to get your hands on one of these bandwidth miners that earns up to $10 a month, I'm giving away one of the miners. All you have to do to take part is number one, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Number two, follow me on Twitter. And number three, retweet my pinned tweet. That's all you have to do. In one month, I'll pick a winner and you'll receive a free Fry Bandwidth Miner. Now, stick around for this video to see my review of the project, the white paper and tokenomics. And if you stay till the end, I'll share a discount code that knocks $80 off per miner, reducing your ROI. Let's jump straight into this new crypto mining project video. Let's jump straight into the Fry Foundation website. In this section of the video, we're going to go over the project, the white paper, the roadmap, and exactly how it works. We're also going to briefly look at the different miners that are available on the website. First things first, the website builds itself as an organization or a project that is building a decentralized network of decentralized networks. What's it's hoping the benefits of this project is? is that they have a green initiative, which means that all of the frying miners are recycled, that it's a means of earning passive income. It's built on the Algorand blockchain so that it's stable, and also that they don't have a clawback or freeze system, so they believe in security, and they want to build a global network. You can see they've got 250 miners online, so it's a relatively small startup crypto project with 15,000 fry distributed already. Now, if we look, jump over to the About Us page, we can have a look here as well that they do have some information about the founders. Now, Samuel Fry, presumably what the project or who the project is named after, um, he has been doxxed. Google his name. He'll come up on LinkedIn. Uh, and you can see that this is a real individual. I'm hoping, hopefully, that we can get a video interview with him later on in the channel. But I always look for websites that have doxxed members of the team. I think that it's really useful to build trust. We're going to jump straight into the white paper for this project. I'm going to quickly skim through this because it's a very lengthy project, over 20 pages. It's a lengthy document. Um, and the tokenomics are not up to date in this document, but they do have a tab on their website to run through. It talks about the different elements or the different aspects of the project that they have. I'm going to skim right through and have a look at the use cases. They see it being used for donations, advertising, and services, and trading pairs. It talks about mining rewards and how mining rewards happen, um, whether it's through participating in the DVPN network, which at the moment is the bandwidth miner, the GNSS network, which is the uh, satellite miner. Um, and it doesn't actually cover the decibel miner which is another one of the projects that they have. They also have the br Bring Your Own Device program, where if you have your own computer, you can purchase a license. The rewards are less for that, but it just means that there's a less of a cost as well. And it talks a little bit about the compensation. So if your device is ordered, uh, for every week that it's delayed, you get 100 free fries. Now, the bandwidth miner at the moment, before they establish their own DVPN, the bandwidth miner is going to use existing DVPNs like Honeygain, Peter Profit, EarnApp, PacketStream, these are all well-known uh, networks that use the bandwidth on your computer. And so it gives you a little bit of an idea of how that's being used. Most of these I have covered on my uh, network, especially Honeygain. So it's something interesting that you can do. Um, satellite Miner, it talks about the use of the GNSS. This is through the use of a USB. Uh, it doesn't actually cover the decibel miner here in detail, but as I've been told, this is a um, limited uh, a white paper. Finally, I'm going to look at the liquidity. It says that to ensure a healthy liquidity, that 10% of all hardware sales and money generated from the networks are going to be allocated towards the project's liquidity. So in theory, 
Purchasing the uh, token and also the number of devices that go online should increase the liquidity. Liqu increasing the liquidity over time should increase the price of a coin as well. So this is a little bit on the white paper. Again, I've been told that this is limited. So in essence, um, it's worth having a look to see if they get an updated one. Briefly looking at the tokenomics, well, there's a little bit of an update here on the different mining types. So you've got the bandwidth miner, which earn 100 fry per day before any multipliers. The satellite miner, which earns 82 a day. And the outdoor satellite miner, which earns 100 a day. The indoor decibel miner earns 107 a day. The outdoor decibel miner earns 107 a day. And then you've got your bring your own device miners. At the moment, the multiplier is 2x. So you're getting double this, double this, and double all this at the moment when you purchase any of these miners. Having a quick look now at the roadmap, you can see that the estimated completion date for the deployment of the phase one includes the indoor and outdoor satellite miners. It has the noise pollution miners, but it also includes weather miners, indoor air quality miners, outdoor air quality, and there's a whole host of projects which they're hoping to have on their roadmap. And just quickly jumping over to their Discord, you can see that the bandwidth miners, satellite miners that we've already covered, but they also have weather miners, pebble miners, recycle miners, air quality miners, and as well as the decibel miners that we are aware of already. The pebble miner, you can check on the Discord more detail about that. And with regards to the weather miner, it says that if you have an ambient weather device, that's their brand called Ambient, then you simply go on the website and you connect your wallet for that as well. So we can see that they're progressing slowly with regards to their roadmap and details obviously will come on their social media and on the Discord. Phase 2, which is December 26, is going to be the decentralized VPN, as they mentioned, and some of the other um, uh, deployments. They're looking to have an explorer that allows people to navigate the different decentralized networks. And then lastly, they want to be listed on top 10 centralized exchanges. And the aim is for this to be a top DPIN network. So this is the rough roadmap that we can see there. We'll head on over quickly on the actual miners and how you can get your discount. If I go to the bandwidth miner, the bandwidth miner is at $230. If you don't want an Ethernet cable and you do want Windows on there, you can see that it's $230. And as I've told you guys, if you use the passive crypto promo code, you actually get $80 off your miner. So it will come at you at $174, over a 35% saving. And you can use this on any of the different miners. And if you look at the satellite miner, you'll see that the amount earned whether it's indoor or outdoor, is also updated because of the multiplier. And you can see the same for the decibel miners as well. Indoor or outdoor, 215 fry that are earned on a daily basis. Heading over to the price now of the crypto, you can see that it's in been, been in a relative um, incline over the last 14 days. Uh, it's currently sitting at 0 0.015. It's 215 fry a day, so that's how much you get uh, in a day in a sense. Multiply that over a month. Um, you can see that it's around $10 a month for the uh, bandwidth miner. You can see that if you, if you had three bandwidth miners, then you'd be earning $30 a month on that. So you can have a look and see what's suitable for you, what works within your budget. Now, they do have a Twitter channel that you can follow. They do have an active Discord channel that you can follow. Uh, for any questions, they're constantly always updating. They've got the different type of miners that are available here. So make sure that you go in there, have a little read about it, uh, and see what benefit you can have from this as well. So that's the update on the project itself. So let me know what you think. If you're interested, I've got links below. It does help the channel. Uh, let me know what you think of the Fry Foundation. I'll update you on my earnings, but I'll update, update you as we get along. Thanks again for watching this video. Whether you're new to the project or you saw the Fry Foundation and you weren't sure about it, hit me up in the comments below. What are your reservations? What are your worries? Uh, and what do you think is going to be the benefit of this project going forward? I'm really interested to kind of hear about um, your thoughts on this as well. All right, take care and we'll speak to you soon.